Hey guys, it's Strip Sackles Robotics, and today we'll be showing you how to make a good drivetrain and the four points of doing that. So the first main point you want to do is making sure all wheels are be being driven, because you don't want the front wheels not doing anything and the back wheels just driving, because it'll make it so when it drives, it goes really crooked, and so that's not very good. So what we recommend is using chains like this, or you can just gear it up if you don't want to buy the chains. So yeah, second part is making sure that you're using as much or as little space as you can by moving the motors up and putting the chain down to the wheels and moving this back. The recommendation to keep the robot sturdy is to put these corner to to put these L pieces in the corner. So if you put stuff in the corner, it won't be as wobbly. So another thing we're gonna add onto a robot is strafing. It basically allows the robot to go like this. And that can be helpful for multiple things, uh, like shooting the pucks. Maybe like you want to shoot a couple at a time, and you just don't want to like have to turn and walk, uh, move that way. So if you are going to do this, you're going to need these Omni wheels, which you can buy on the Vex store. Yep. They're basically like wheels that have little tiny rollers on them, so they can go like this. And what you're going to need to do, you're going to have to have your regular drivetrain, and then you're going to add a, another motor in the middle, driving just another. Um, Omni wheel that it's going the opposite direction of these. So how these are like going this way and this one's going this way. So whenever you're driving, it'll move this and everything else will should be able to slide that way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And so those are the four good elements for a drivetrain. Uh that's the end of our video. See you next time.